Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are diving into the latest buzz from the reality TV world, including the ongoing legal drama between Jen Pedrandi and boyfriend Ryan, as well as Ali Shapiro and her very recent breakup with boyfriend Jordan. Plus, we don't want to miss the moments between Shannon Beter and comedian Joel Kim Booster's comments on a recent DUI arrest. It's a blend of serious topics and some lighthearted topics as well. Jennifer Pedrani, a prominent in the reality TV scene, has always been known for her vibrant personality, captivating storylines. However, in her recently legal battles with fellow cast member Ryan Boyajian had brought unexpected tension to the forefront. The fallout began when allegations surfaced regarding Ryan's behavior, leading to a series of legal confrontations that no one saw coming. According to the latest reports, the legal drama began when Ryan allegedly made claims that Jennifer found to be defamatory. This sparked a back and forth that escalated My quickly. My mom and dad were in the middle of France on a trip. Like, are you okay? Is Ryan going to jail? I mean, I, I truly felt like the world stopped. And that is, that is not an exaggeration. <laughs> Sometimes. I, just all up. I think what people don't understand is we have known the situation for a long time. Those are our now let's talk about those unseen moments that have recently come to light. Footage from private gatherings and candid conversations reveals a much different dynamic than what viewers typically see on screen. The aftermath of this legal drama is impacting both Jennifer and Ryan significantly. Jennifer has been very vocal about her feelings on social media, expressing her disappointment and hurt, while Ryan remains reserved, leading to speculations of his next steps. As the drama unfolds, fans have taken to social media to share their opinions. Some are rallying behind Jennifer, showing support for her stance, while others are divided taking side. This next story, we are diving into intriguing news surrounding reality star Ali Shapiro, her fiancé Jordan Bilfeld. Recently, fans have been buzzing with rumors about a possible split between Ali and Jordan. The speculation ignited when Ali deleted all traces of their engagement. You mention all the end shit that are scraped on a door frame. We all know. In the midst of these rumors, it's a heartwarming to note that Ali's mom, Jill, has stepped in to help her daughter during this time. Reports suggest that Jill has been assisting Ali with her move into a new studio apartment. This support highlights the importance of family during challenging moments. For those who may not know, Ali is well known for her appearances on The Real Housewives of New York. Back in August, she shared a romantic post announcing her engagement to Jordan, which makes this recent turn of events all the more surprising. So what do you think? Are these split rumors just speculation, or is there more to the story? Next up, let's catch up with Dory Kemsley. Her recent photos seem to be a little unrecognizable. Many are speculating that she might be using AI and Facetune to enhance her look. So, is it just those camera angles, lighting, or is something more happening here? But it's not just the drama on screen that's catching our attention. Dory has bravely opened up about her struggles following a terrifying home invasion. She revealed that this traumatic experience has led to PTSD, affecting her mental health, and even contributing to early premenopausal symptoms. This insight into her personal life really sheds light on the pressures that come with being in the public eye. It sparks an important conversation about mental health and the impact of trauma. If you or anyone you know has gone through a similar situation, we will have all the information you will need at the end of this video and links in the description. Remember, if you're a reality star, Hollywood star, or just an ordinary gal like me, you are never alone. My journey helps to help women with theirs. It began for me about a year ago. Kick started early because of my PTSD. When I met Debbie at the Better Menopause, I realized just how much I've been neglecting my physical, mental, and emotional well-being. And I was fed up with not feeling like myself. I had all the signs and symptoms. I was in perimenopause, but I didn't realize it. It's wild because I consider myself fairly well-informed. 
I wish that I had known sooner and gotten the help that I so desperately needed. Shannon Beter from the Real Housewives of Orange County shared a story on her recent interactions with comedian Joel Kim Booster. Following his unexpected outburst, tensions seemed to rise within the cast, and it looks like the drama is far from over. Shannon hinted at some brewing conflict about the crew, suggesting that the behind-the-scenes dynamics might be shifting. But that's not all. In a candid moment, she also addressed comments made about Tamara Judge of Orange County Reunion. I'm about to poop right now. Are you in peril? I'm glad you wore white, though. That works out. Furthermore, Shannon touched on Tamara's health diagnosis, indicating that there's more to the story than meets the eye. Fans are left wondering how this revelation will impact their relationship and the group as a whole. With the reunion right around the corner, we can only anticipate the fireworks will ensue. In a heartfelt update from the world of reality television, Dory Kemsley, a prominent figure from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, has opened up about her son Jagger's recent hospitalization. The 10-year-old faced a significant health scare that required medical attention, leaving both Dory and her husband Paul Kemsley deeply concerned. Dory shared an emotional journey the family went through during this challenging time, highlighting the importance of family support and love in moments of crisis. She recounted how Jagger had been feeling unwell, leading to their decision to seek medical help. As a mother, Dory expressed the anxiety she felt, emphasizing that seeing her child in distress was one of the hardest experiences of her life. During Jagger's hospital stay, the Kemsley family rallied together, ensuring that he felt supported and loved. Corey mentioned how they kept Jagger entertained with games and stories, trying to maintain a positive atmosphere despite the circumstances. Now that Jagger is on the mend, Dory is grateful for the outpouring of support from friends and fans alike. She emphasized the importance of health and well-being. Teddy Mellencamp's decision to file for divorce has certainly left fans buzzing with curiosity. Known for her candid nature, she has always been upfront about her life's ups and downs. But this latest chapter is proving to be a twist even she didn't see coming. You can almost hear the gasps between her collective followers as they wonder what's next for the reality star. Will she embrace single life with wild abandon? Or will she take a more introspective approach, perhaps starting a new podcast titled Teddy Talks, Life After Love? As she steps into this next phase, we can only imagine the hilarious stories and the relatable moments she'll bring to the forefront. After all, if there's one thing Teddy knows how to do, it's turning life's challenges into entertaining content for her fans. Whether she's navigating the dating scene or just enjoying some well-deserved me time, one thing's for sure. Teddy will tackle it all with her signature balance of authenticity and humor. The reality star has always been a beacon of transparency, and her divorce announcement is no exception. Fans appreciate her willingness to share the messy, real Good parts of her life. Right? And it's a little bit modern, but it doesn't conflict with everything else that's kind of going on in the house. I always say the house is a little bit. Dorinda Medley recently took center stage as she unveiled the luxurious details of her stunning estate, Blue Stone Manor. Known for her vibrant personality on The Real Housewives of New York, Dorinda showcased her passion for design and hospitality in this exclusive feature. Blue Stone Manor is not just a house, it's a reflection of Dorinda's life, filled with elegance and charm. As she guided viewers through the property, she highlighted its exquisite design elements. So, of course, I had to buy this great family painting, and it's such a talking piece. I mean, this is one of my favorite books. Born to party, forced to work. I love that. That could be the... The grand living space adorned with stunning artwork and cozy furnishings, creating an inviting atmosphere for guests. Dorinda emphasized her love for hosting, sharing antidotes about memorable gatherings and celebrations held inside the walls of Blue Stone Manor. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we get a lot of butt dials. We get a lot of um, 3 o'clock in the morning, drunk calls from Karen. You never know what you're going to hear. You never know what she's going to say. I actually miss them. She hasn't done it in a while. Oh, now, let's dive into the hilariously chaotic world of Giselle Bryant and Karen Hugger's friendship. Their relationship is like a roller coaster, 
filled with ups and downs. And just when you think you've seen it all, there's another loop-de-loop -loop coming your way. Following Karen's recent escapades, including some late-night drunk calls that had everyone rolling their eyes and laughing out loud, the tension is pliable. Picture this. It's 3 a.m. and Giselle's phone lights up. Maybe. She answers half asleep, only to hear Karen rambling on about. Well, who knows? It could be about her famous wigs or the latest gossip in Potomac. Giselle can't help but think. Really, Karen? At this hour? In the midst of all the chaos, it's clear that Giselle and Karen's friendship is as entertaining as it is complicated. With every drunk dial spontaneous burst of laughter, 